I got to ask you, is there, was there a more compelling, emotionally, a charged segment than what we saw from our good buddy Max tonight? He, he really put, pulled on the heartstrings. I mean, this is, uh, you know, one of our biggest fans here on Dynamite Download is Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And, you know, he's, he's been glowing reviews of us, you know, giving, calling us the drizzling shits and, you know, other odds and ends names that we don't want to get demonetized for. But um, as one of our supporters, we always have to talk about MJF and we have to give him props for his due. But I'm, call, I'm not buying into any of this, you know. The, you, the oh, human, you didn't buy in? The human emotion obviously <laughs> wants to – feel sorry for someone but this guy is playing the biggest possum acting all sad and boo hoo woo hoo the crowd should have chanted shut the f up uh, you know uh, yeah he, a bully turns getting bullied turns into the biggest bully on that's the block right. it does He's it two wrongs don't make a right, right right good point so spd i'm i'm calling possum i'm calling all smoke and mirrors you can never trust Whoa, this guy Cody reference i like you it. can never <laughs> trust mjf I don't even care. And he even shed a tear for us on Dynamite. Boo, who, who. Here's a tissue. And MJF and, and CM Punk went kind of face to face and he was asking if it was true. You can see it was true. And he's walking away with his tail tucked between his legs. You know, I'm not trying to be not sensitive, but man, oh man, like I th- he is he is playing us like a fiddle. This That's is MJF it, does, man. Yes. Right. And you know, right. this story, I, I did enjoy his I mean the guy doesn't miss a beat. Give give credit where credit is due. He's always delivers A plus gold know. promos. Period. You're right. And this was another one of those. And he he showed the fact that he could. He literally shed a tear, made it, re- attempted to make it real for us. But I'm still calling bluff and possible. He had punk. He had punk kind of. I know. Like, is this you, for real? Is this legit? Do you um, think we'll you see know, MJF crying and saying no, 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 and then MJ, or CM Punk letting up a little bit, and then MJF just playing possum and capitalizing and beating him? I think we'll man, see something like that. It, you, you, you can never put things past MJF. We've talked about it time and again. This guy always seems to be one step ahead of his competition. And it, and it feels like, you know, this is an example where, man, he – we all saw the fire in punk last week. And this is why I, when, oh, yeah. you know, again, I'm sympathetic to what if MJF talking about getting bullied and all those things. It was, it was, it was tough to hear poor guy. I feel bad for him. If it was um, anybody else, <laughs> but I don't, I think the timing is awfully convenient because we got to see a fired up CM punk last week. We talked about it, cutting a promo that was so different from his mm-hmm. AEW run so far, a promo yep. that was characterized by his anger and his, his intent that, that fuel that we've, we've seen from punk in the past. So it's awfully convenient that Max is now trying to soften punk up a little bit, get, tug on punk's heart, part, punk's heartstrings, um, get him to feel sympathy for MJF. A week after we saw right. Punk literally bring out a dog collar and talk about how he wants to make he wants to paint Max's blood all over the canvas, right? It's it, this yep. is an example of MJF trying to outsmart his competition here. He, I think he's he's digging deep into the bag of tricks of, of MJF. I, I think this one's definitely him playing possum, as you said. Very well said there, SPD. <laughs>